Two extra depth now video of the man spotted carrying a rifle and dressed in tactical gear while walking in a busy area of Far East El Paso, including video of that man saying why he did so has surfaced. ABC 7's Carrie Mannix joins us live in the studio with the details. Carrie. That's right, Stephanie. Many residents were on edge and several Socorro Independent School District campuses were placed under secure protocol Thursday as that man carried a rifle while walking down Joe Battle, the Joe Battle area. Yeah, I know. No, I'm good, brother. I mean, I'm just trying to get my exercise. Really is what it is. This is the man you saw in that video saying the reason he did what he did was because he was just trying to get his exercise in. ABC 7 spoke with a moderator from Open Carry Texas who says he does not believe the man was doing anything wrong. That gentleman uh, was exercising his constitutional rights under the Second Amendment. It is not written in fashion to the way that, uh, you know, you have the right to keep and bear arms unless someone feels unsafe or uneasy or what the political uh, climate is like of that time. Moderator Chris Yost says there was no reasonable suspicion in this incident. You have to have reasonable articular suspicion or RAS, as we said in law enforcement, that a crime has been or is about to be committed. And just the fact that, you know, we had a history of shootings here in El Paso with the Walmart shooting and then what happened tragically with Uvalde. Uh, and then now this guy's walking around with a gun. That's not probable cause that he did something. ABC 7 asked Yost what would constitute as probable cause. If I'm walking, say, from my car to take my daughter to school, you know, we get out of the car and I have my gun openly carrying on my hip, for instance, I can take her all up to the front door of that school, kiss her goodbye and let her go. I'm fine. But the minute I step foot inside the school, I'm now committing the felony. Police sent out tweets Thursday in response to the incident, saying they were aware of the situation and monitoring it. They also said they posted the information to reassure the public and that the man was trying to get attention, which they asked the public not to give him. And while police did, did monitor the incident, the man was within his rights, so there was nothing more they can legally have done. Reporting live from the studio, Carrie Mannix, ABC 7.